Hey there, so I wanted to show a thing off. Let me restart that. Start that. Okay, dope. Refresh everything. Okay. So this is um first off, this is Josh from Daily Drip and Elixir Sips. And I've got a real basic uh, Phoenix Presence chat example here. So using Phoenix's pre-release and we support presence, and that's what you're seeing running over here. Uh, the the front end obviously. And Elm, there's Elm Phoenix socket support provided by Frank Benetti. Uh, Elm Phoenix socket. It's pretty good, pretty easy to use, but it doesn't support uh, presence, right? So I added support for presence uh, after a fashion. So let me, yeah, I'm in the right branch. So if you want to have a look, I added some tests and I basically ported the uh, presence tests from Phoenix for the JavaScript client. A pretty straightforward port and so then I got those to pass and then I added support right now it's in examples it's not actually in the project itself or in the library itself but it's in user space my next move is going to be to extract it from here and get it um, hopefully merged into this if not into a separate project and so first off I added support for uh, basically a typed version of Phoenix presence types um, I need to make this part extensible. Right now it's kind of hard coded, so that's one of the things before I can get a pull request in. But a uh, JSON decoder as well, so that we can take the JSON that's coming from the server on the present state and present diff messages and turn it into something reasonable, right? Uh, into something, I say reasonable, something strongly typed. And then down here, I have added sync state and sync diff. These are, so first off, sync state. Uh, all that sync state does in PhoenixJS is set or return the new state that you pass in and call callbacks for things that left and joined. Uh, there's no justifiable reason to have callbacks uh, in this. So right now I just return new state. Uh, it's conceivable that maybe we want to return a three tuple that is the new state as well as the joins and the leaves so you can do stuff with them. But, you know, callbacks are not a thing that I want to uh, even think about what that might look like in Elm. I would never want to use a library that used them. Um, you can't really even use them per se. And then uh, sync diff. So this is the actual one with meaty stuff. So sync diff works just like you'd expect. In both of these cases, I've changed the order of the arguments because uh, it's a little more elmy. So the existing state is the second argument. Uh, but that means that if you pipe it in, uh, it works like you'd want it to. Anyway, so we merge the leaves. We merge the joins. All that works. And ultimately, this is kind of a super dumb side note, but dick.merge has a bug in it that I found in the process of doing all this. And so this is an implementation of dick merge with the fix, which is um, actually right here. So uh, I didn't do this. This was done by, uh, well, let me just pull it up. Done by Fred Kowski. Uh, he's pretty awesome. Anyway. So I just pulled that function in here. Not terribly important. We'll get to the meaty stuff soon, I promise. And then in the update, when we get our messages over the WebSocket, uh, we decode them and we call sync state. We get our list of users out. I don't, I haven't implemented a list yet, so we just map the keys. Uh, so this is our list of users and this is our new state. And we store those in the model. Same thing for diff, although obviously we call sync diff instead. And yeah, let's see how it works. So here we go. I'm going to join the chat and I'll join the lobby. I'll come over here and I'll join as someone else. And you can see we have the state, right? The um, presence information updated instantly like you'd expect. I'll join as a third person, Joe Bob. And so that'll work and we can talk, make sure everybody gets it. And we can come over here, and when Joe Bob leaves, of course, it's updated instantly both places. So this has been a demonstration of doing Phoenix Presence stuff with Elm. And I just wanted to show it off because I've been working on it for about a week and a half. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's basically usable. I just have to make some changes so that I can actually get a pull request out. So anyway, that's it. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this random video from Josh on a Friday.